So I'm going to complete my treble stitch. So there's my first one. And then I have to make a back post treble crochet stitch around each of those last three stitches of the cable. So I have one more left. Now we're going to be working a front post treble crochet into the three skipped stitches. So go ahead and turn your work so that the right side is facing you and then you could see your three skipped stitches. We're going to be making a front post treble crochet around each of those three skipped stitches starting with the one furthest from you. So just yarn over twice and then you're going to go from front to back and then from back to front and then the post is sitting right on top of your crochet hook. Go ahead and bring up a loop. That's that first skipped stitch furthest from you. Make your treble crochet stitch. So you can see how I have the front post treble crochet stitch worked around the first skipped stitch. Now I'm going to work it around the second skipped stitch. Yarn over twice and then you're going to go around the second skipped stitch. And then I have one skipped stitch left. And then this is where you can get a little confused where the skipped stitch. You see how this looked like it at first, but that's actually not it this is the skipped stitch. And then sometimes what you can do so that you can see the skipped stitch is put a yarn marker in the three skipped stitches so you don't lose it if you're having trouble. And I show how to do this with my crochet toddler braided cable scarf. So if you need some practice that's a good video tutorial to practice this with. So I'm going to go around that skipped stitch and make my treble crochet stitch. Now you've completed all nine stitches in your cable. So go ahead and turn your work so that the wrong side is facing you. And then you're going to find those remaining stitches and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight remaining stitches left. Now you're going to make one double crochet into the next five stitches. So if you work to double crochet into the next five stitches, make sure that you have three remaining stitches, otherwise you did something wrong. So I have one double crochet into five stitches. Now I'm going to turn my work so that the right side is facing me. I'm going to make a front post double crochet around the previous post. Then I'm going to turn my work so that the wrong side is facing me. And then I'm going to make one double crochet into the next two stitches. And then I'm going to make two double crochet into the remaining stitch. And then that will complete the fourth row 
and you should have a total of 29 stitches for that row. And this is what the front looks like so far. Now we're going to move up to row 5. Go ahead and chain 3. And then turn your work. You're going to make one double crochet into the next three stitches. So we're not going to be working into the same stitch like we did for the previous rows. So make your double crochet. Make sure that you don't work into the same stitch as your chain three. Then you're going to make a front post double crochet, so just yarn over and make a front post double crochet around the previous rows, front post double crochet stitch. Now here is the tricky part again. You don't want to miss this first stitch, it's kind of hiding and it might hide behind your front post so make sure that you work into that first stitch and you should have a total of five one two three four five and then you have the start of your cable so one double crochet into the next five stitches So now we are at the cable stitches. So for this row, you're going to be making the front post double crochet around each of the nine stitches in your cable. So for the first three, you're going to be working consecutively. So the first three will be the front treble crochets from the previous row. And then you're going to be working the front post double crochet around the back three. See how they're kind of crisscrossed? The front ones are lying on top of the three treble crochets in the back. And you'll be working those consecutively or in order as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to be making a front post double crochet so just yarn over, go into those front three, and make a front post double crochet. So there's one, two, three. So now we're going to work a front post double crochet into the back three. So you can kind of move them so you can see them. And we're going to work in order, so we're going to work in this one first. It's the next one. So just yarn over. You can see how I'm going around the post so that the post is in front of my crochet hook because we want a front post double crochet. Then you have two left back there. So you're going to make a front post double crochet around the second one. And then you're going to make a front post double crochet around that last stitch. And then You've worked the first six stitches in the cable. You have three left. These are easy. You just continue to the next one. 
in the set of three and finish your last three front post double crochets. And then you completed the cable stitches. So now you have 10 stitches remaining. You're going to make one double crochet into the next five stitches. Then you're going to make a front post double crochet around the previous posts, front post double crochet. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the remaining four stitches. And then that completes the fifth row, and you should have a total of 29 stitches after completing the fifth row. Now we're moving up to the sixth row, which will also have a total of 29 stitches. So you're going to make a chain of three. One, two, three. Turn your work. You're going to make one double crochet into the next three stitches. Then you're going to make a back post double crochet around the previous rows front post double crochet. and you can see how the posts will line up. Make sure that your posts are lining up. Then you're going to make a double crochet into the next one, two, three, four, five stitches which will bring you up to your cable design. So now we're up to the cable stitches. Now you're going to work the cable stitch just like you did for row two. So you're going to skip the first three stitches and then make a back post, treble, crochet stitch around the next three stitches. So you're going to skip three stitches and work a treble, crochet stitch, around that fourth stitch. So a back post treble, just like on row two, the design on row two. So we're going to make one more treble around the next two stitches. So we have the first three, first three skipped stitches, 
then I have a treble back post treble crochet stitch around the next three and then that should leave you with three stitches remaining for the cable. So now you're going to work in front of these three treble crochet stitches that you just made. So I use my finger to help separate. You're going to find that first skipped stitch and work a back post treble crochet around that stitch, the first skip stitch. So yarn over twice, you're going to bring your crochet hook across and behind that first skipped stitch, come in the space in front of the post, go across the post and towards the back so that the post of that first skipped stitch is behind or in back of your crochet hook. Bring up a loop and then make your treble crochet. And then you can see how that first treble crochet stitch around that first skip stitch lay on top of the first three treble crochets that you made. Now you're going to make a treble crochet around the second skipped stitch. So you just go around that second skipped stitch for your back post, treble, crochet, and then you're going to make a back post treble crochet around the third skipped stitch. Then you have these three treble crochets that will lay on top of those back three treble crochet. Now you have three stitches left in your cable. You're going to make one back post double crochet around those three remaining stitches of the cable stitches. And then that will complete the cable stitches. This is what it looks like on the back or wrong side. This is what it looks like on the right side. You should have 10 stitches remaining. You're going to make one double crochet into the next five stitches. Then you're going to make a back post double crochet around the previous rows, front post, double crochet. So this is what it looks like on the back, and then this is what it looks like on the front. Then you're going to make one double crochet into each of the remaining four stitches. And then that will complete a total of 29 stitches for the sixth row. Now you're going to chain three, one, two, three, turn your work, 
and we're going to start on the seventh row. So you're going to make one double crochet into the next three stitches. You're going to make a front post double crochet around the previous rows, back post, double crochet, stitch. You're going to make one double crochet into the next five stitches. And then that will bring you up to the cable design. So just like you did for row three, you're going to be making one front post, double crochet around each of the nine stitches in the cable stitches. So here's the first set of three. And then the next consecutive stitch will be the one in the back. So you're going to move those three stitches in the back so you can see them and make your front post double crochet around each of those three stitches. my second front post double crochet. Now the third one is hard to see so you have to kind of move the stitches so you can see that third stitch to make your front post double crochet stitch around it. So I finished the back three so that's six stitches total so far for the cable stitches. Now I need the last three which are the ones in the front here. So I'm going to make a front post double crochet around the first one of the three in the front. It's the second front post double crochet in the last three set in the cable stitches. And then that completes the nine stitches in the cable. Then you have ten stitches remaining. You're going to make one double crochet into the next five stitches. Then you're going to make a front post double crochet around the previous row's back post, double crochet, stitch. Then you're going to make one double crochet into each of the four remaining stitches. And then that will complete row seven and you should have a total of 29 stitches after completing that row, if you did it correctly. This is what your beautiful pumpkin is looking like so far. So now you're going to chain three and we're going to move up to row eight. So go ahead and turn your work now, for the next 
two stitches, you're going to double crochet two stitches together. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to go into that next stitch, you're going to bring up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two of the loops only. You have two loops remaining, yarn over, go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Now you have four loops on your hook, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through two of the loops. You have three loops remaining, yarn over, turn the hook upside down and then go through three of the loops to complete a double crochet, two stitches together. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next three. stitches. So one double crochet into the next three stitches. Then you're going to turn your work and you could see how we brought that edge of the posts outward now we're going to bring them inward. So you're going to make a front post double crochet stitch around the previous front post double crochet stitch in the previous row. And you can see how that brings it in at an angle. The post will go in inward. Now you could turn your work back so that the wrong side is facing you. Then you're going to make one double crochet into each of the four remaining stitches. And then that will bring you up to your cable, nine cable stitches. So the cable is going to be the, made the same way as row 4. So you're going to make a back post, double crochet around the first three stitches. So I made a back post double crochet around the first three stitches. Then you're going to skip three stitches and then make your back post treble crochet around those three last stitches of the cable stitches. So skip three stitches and then make a back post treble crochet around the next three stitches, which should be the last three stitches for your cable. So this is how your work looks so far. Here are your skipped stitches. Now you're going to turn your work so that those three skipped stitches are visible. See, one, two, three. And we're going to work a front post treble crochet around each of those three skipped stitches starting with the one that's furthest away. So front post treble crochet around each of those skipped stitches. So there's the first one. 
Now I'm going to work around the second one. And then make sure you grab the right skipped stitch for the third one. And then that completes your cable stitches. Turn your work. And then you go to the first unworked stitch on the opposite side of the pumpkin. So one double crochet into the next five stitches. Actually, you're going to take out one of the double crochet. You only want one double crochet into the next four stitches. So you're going to leave that fifth stitch unworked because we want to bring the post inward. So one double crochet into the next four stitches, not five. Four stitches. Then turn your work. You're going to skip that fifth stitch, so skip the next stitch and work a front post double crochet around the previous rows, front post double crochet. Then you can turn your work. You're going to make a double crochet into the skipped stitch. So now, again, you're making a, a double crochet into the skipped stitch. Then you can turn, actually you can continue on. So I just made a double crochet into the skipped stitch. Then you have one, two, three, four, five stitches remaining. So you're going to make one double crochet into the front post double crochet stitch of the previous row. Then one double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet two stitches together. And then one double crochet into the remaining stitch. That completes row 8. And you should have a total of 29 stitches for that row. Now we're going to move up to row 9. Go ahead and make a chain of 3. Turn your work. You're going to double crochet two stitches together. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next three stitches. And that will bring you to the front post double crochet stitch. But you want to go one more stitch, so one more double crochet into the next stitch. So you're actually making one double crochet into four stitches. Then you make your front post double crochet around the previous rows. Front post double crochet. And that will bring it in more as an angle. Then you're going to make one double crochet into the next three stitches. 
and then that will bring you to your cable stitch, so the start of your cable stitch. And this is what it looks like so far on the side. Now for the cable stitch you're going to make a front post double crochet around each of the nine stitches in your cable just like you did for row five. So it'll be the front three first. Front post double crochet around those three. Then you have your back three. Front post double crochet around each of those three. and then around your last three. And then this is what your cable looks like so far.